Hello there, everyone, and welcome to this special session, a uh, very quick uh, presentation on the features and capabilities of Prabhudas Leelathar's portfolio tracker. Uh, the portfolio tracker, in summary, is a single place where you can find your trade reports, capital gain statements, uh, more information on stock level, profits, losses, and in summary, you can essentially export all this information and make your filing of taxes or taking decisions on your stocks a very, very easy process. Now, how do you access the portfolio tracker? So there are three ways you can do this. One, if you are a Prabhudas Leeladhar partner or an employee, all you have to do is go into plclients.com and log in with your credentials, enter the client's code and click the visit portfolio tracker option. This option is available on the left side of the screen within the portfolio tracker menu here. Or the other option is that you do the same thing by inputting the client's account and then clicking portfolio tracker on the right side of the screen. The other option is that if you are a direct client of Prabhudas Leeladha, you can go to portfolio.plindia.com, enter your PL client's username and password, which is your back office username and password, and click login. This will give you access to the same information if you are a client who wishes to go via PL client, which is our back office, you can log into your dashboard, go into the profile section and click the portfolio tracker option available. Each of these three uh, possibilities leads you into the same page, which is the portfolio tracker dashboard. Now the portfolio tracker is populated with a lot of very powerful features and I'll give you an illustrative portfolio to go through. Uh, during this demo. Once you've logged in, you land into what is called the dashboard for the client. The dashboard shows multiple things on the main screen, amongst which is the valuation of the stock in the account, the annualized and absolute returns on the currently held stocks, the allocation of the holdings in terms of current market value is shown or depicted by the chart on the right side of the screen. You could also create this chart based on investment value rather than the current market value. If you want a quick view on the stocks that have made money in your account, all you have to do is go into the heat map section, which shows you all the stocks, what you hold right now in terms of the percentage weight in your portfolio, as well as the return that you have made on that particular stock. And on clicking any of these stocks, which I will demonstrate a bit later, you will get into the transaction history, which has led to you holding these stocks. Below the heat map is a lot of other information, including things like the corporate actions, which are expected on various stocks. You can go and scroll uh, towards the right to go date wise on what all is expected to happen. You also get, if any of your stocks are likely to announce dividends, etc., you uh, or mutual funds, uh, which are likely to announce dividends, you will get a list of those dividends on the left side of the screen. On the right side of the screen, you will get a lot of information on the best and worst performance on your portfolio. And you can click any of these menus to get into further details on individual holdings. Uh, before I move in further, there are two, for Prabhudas Leeladha clients, there are two additional features. So by clicking ledger balance, you get a pop-up which essentially tells you the broker, ledger, credit or debit currently in your account. And if you wish to avail of a loan against shares from our NBFC or any other NBFCs that we are associated with, then you can click check last potential, which will give you information on how much you can take uh, in terms of a loan by uh, collateralizing this particular portfolio that you hold. Now you can get into portfolio level details by clicking on any of these sections on the right. So let me first, let's say, delve into the equity section. Now, by clicking the equities uh, link here, uh, this particular customer does not have uh, uh, any other holdings and derivatives, currencies, etc. So I've clicked equities. Now, within equities, you will get a list of all the holdings of the customer. The average buy price, which is calculated based on the first in, first out method. The quantity, the current market price, uh, the unrealized gain, and what dividends have been earned during the current year on this particular stock. Now you can view these holdings by sector, by market capitalization, or you can view these holdings as of any particular date. So you get a value of holdings as of that date within the equity segment. 
by clicking on this tab above, you will get more information on how much loss or profit has been accumulated over a period of time in the portfolio. You can export to Excel or PDF any of these transactions. Now, if you have done these transactions through Prabhuda Sriladhar in derivatives, equities, currencies, or commodities, then all of the information is automatically updated every night around 11.30. If, however, you have transferred stocks to Prabhudas Liladhar or transferred stocks away from Prabhudas Liladhar, you will need to do manual transactions by using any of these two options. So you can do a transaction by transaction entry using the manual option, manual entry option, or you can do a bulk upload, which allows you to export an Excel file into the portfolio tracker so that you don't have to do every transaction individually. Now, let me go back to the main view that I was in. Now, if you see on the top of the uh, page, you will see four different menus. Now, these menus refer to various things that are very useful. So, for example, you might have a Prabhuda Sridhar portfolio. You are also, by using the trading option, you can also add more portfolios. So let's say you work with two other brokers, or let's say that you have another portfolio of another family member. You can do all of those things by adding another portfolio name and creating multiple family portfolios. So when you go into summary, depending on what login you have used, you can choose to view your current login, which means your own portfolio, or you can choose to see a combined login based portfolio, which means it will include the portfolios of all sub family accounts, including uh, the other family members or the other brokers, whatever you enter. Within the assets report, you can click any of these segments and get holdings. You can also add other asset classes. So for example, if you hold fixed deposits with any bank, or if you hold real estate, or if you hold ULIPS, you can go and manually enter these transactions by using the add transaction option on the right of the screen so that you get a complete picture of your actual net worth. You can do this for seven asset classes currently. In the report section, you get a history of all the transactions that you've entered or have done through Prabhupada Srilata. If these transactions were done through PL, these will be automatically available. Otherwise, this history will show you the transactions over various time frames that are available in the system. Now, you can view these transactions by asset class as well, which means equities and derivatives transactions, for example, separately, or by product categories. You can choose to view these transactions for the last one week, or the last one month, or the last three months, or any other specific dates that you choose to uh, select. If you have done, for instance, a sell transaction at Prabhupada Siladhar, where the buy transaction was not done at PL, then these securities will feature in the short sell report. All you have to do is, once you've seen this transaction being available in the short sell report, add a corresponding buy transaction, which will automatically remove short sell transactions from the tracker report, and your net worth will begin to accurately reflect the actual profitability. The uh, report section also shows you all the income that you earned via dividends or should have earned via dividends, and the information should be available either in your ledger or in your bank account and should match with this report. So this is a good way to reconcile your incomes. You can also see the net purchase value by month in a view called the cash flow view, which will show you the amount of purchasing and the amount of selling that you've done over various months uh, in the portfolio tracker. Most importantly, you can view the capital gains report, which is essential to you calculating your uh, uh, you know, taxes due at the end of each year. The capital gains report shows you gains across various types of uh, 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 transactions that you've done, including intraday, futures, short term, long term, as well as the dividend amount in a single screen. Now you can choose to export this to PDF or Excel using the menus on the top right. You can also go into details of each category by year, by specific date combinations, trade-wise, or script-wise. Now, for example, if I click short-term capital gains, it will show me a script-wise 
division of all the trades and how that particular customer got to a particular value of capital gains. By clicking the sandwich menu, you again get back into a macro view. Now you can go back in history by clicking any of these years and you get a previous uh, uh, year's capital gain, uh, which you can then use for filing your taxes. By clicking the allocation report, you can see the allocation of your money across various asset classes. You can also view unrealized capital gains as of any specific date. So you can go and manipulate the date here so that it shows you gains as of that date. Uh, and, and also see the average price and whether the capital gain is a long term or a short term capital gain. You can also export this to Excel like any other report. Aging is a very, very interesting report, which should be used by customers as well as our own personnel, which gives you a view of how many days uh, remain for a particular uh, security gain or loss to become a long-term loss or a long-term gain. Uh, this report is very useful for timing your exits or entries into stocks. You can also, instead of going via PL client, which is our back office, if you want access to a limited amount of information, you can also visit the back office section where essentially you will see the client ledger updated on a daily evening basis with all the entries which are picked up from the uh, back office ledger. You can also see the holdings which are reflecting inside the back office system at Prabhuda Sri Leather. This will only be available to Prabhuda Sri Leather customers because we have access to that information. There, the reason why we are showing this report is because you might have a lot of holdings uh, in, in things where, for example, rights issues or IPO issuances, etc., which are not trades. And since these have not been traded through Prabhuda Srinathar terminals, these transactions are not captured by the portfolio tracker. So unless you've entered these manually, these holdings will not reflect uh, in the uh, equity section report that you just saw. So therefore, we are also showing you separately the back office holding report so that you have a view of what your actual holdings are currently. If you've done any remittances, then this shows you the entire remittance history. And if you have any derivative open positions which you want to track, then derivative open positions will be reflected here. Now, the other thing that you can do uh, using the options here is that uh, you can add multiple portfolios. You can edit any of these portfolios by clicking these buttons on the right. The settings section allows you to go through FAQs on certain important areas. You can change your password or you can log out of the system. Now, if at any point of time, if you wish to search for a particular security, all you have to do is go into the search section, type the name of the security and anything and everything related to that security will be reflected uh, in, in uh, a short report below like so. So therefore, in a sense, the portfolio tracker combines for a Prabhudasli other customer combines a net worth management, long term taxation and short term taxation related reporting, as well as the ability to watch multiple portfolios within the same uh, menu. Uh, the other benefit, of course, is that you can ma manage your cash flows, uh, look at your dividend flows, etc. by going through the portfolio tracker all in one place. If you are used to using public tools like moneycontrol.com or equitymaster or ettracker.com, you may wish to uh, ask your friends also to switch on to the Prabhu Das Liyadar Portfolio Tracker because this is as powerful as any public portfolio tracker available on the internet today. Uh, with that, I come to an end on a demonstration of this portfolio tracker. Wish you very, very profitable trading ahead.